بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ڈیئر ویورس ٹوڈے وی ہیو اے ویری گڈ ٹاپک ان اسلامک مینجمنٹ دیٹ از کالڈ لرننگ لرننگ آلویز اسلام ہیز گیون ہائی امپارٹینس ٹو لرننگ اینڈ دا فرسٹ ورڈ that reveal to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is iqra means read allah subhanahu wa iqra is amr it's allah taala ordering allah subhanahu wa taala is ordering us to read because the problem i'll give you one example of <coughs> maulana muhammadul hasan rahmatullah alaihi when he was in malta jail at the time of britisher when he came back from that kala pani that jail the first he organized the organized he gave a kitab to ulama that i have discovered i have learned why the umma is backward the only thing he analyzed is the umma left quran and allah's prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said hold tight quran and my sunnah you won't go astray and the problem was now the umma alhamdulillah is, is coming towards uh, islam towards quran but slowly that's the problem when we left quran and some so called liberal and they are so called educated people they think this is a backward religion this islam does not know science no it's not like that because all the education that comes from adam alay salam to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to revelation has already you can say the education is already a modern education and islam especially the quran it has all faculties religion science hikma everything history biology geology so the problem is if we are not learning then we are not discovering anything we are not doing anything so umma learning is very important learning is any relatively permanent change in behavior that occurs as a re- result of experience learning is persisting change in human performance or you can say performance potential brought about a result of the learner's interaction with the environment especially uh, learning is a powerful incentive for many even employees in the company if we talk about management learning is a powerful tool so any organization to stick when you stick to want to stick when you want to grow in any organization you have to learn new things creativity learning and learning new things is very important and let's see what uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he gave stress and what is the role of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in learning prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave high importance on learning shortly arriving uh, shortly after arriving at madina prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam built a masjid that is called masjid an nabawi today which soon became not only a place of worship but also a center of learning the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to teach at the masjid this teaching sessions were generally held in the afternoon as it was not possible for the women to attend these sessions once one day in every week was exclusively reserved for their instruction that means islam gives high importance for women to educate also hmm. then people say that few people even even ignorant, ignorant muslim they say that <laughs> islam is a religion of what you can say and so the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam thus paid due attention to the training of women as well 
in this regular daily sessions for men and weekly sessions for women the prophet sallallahu used to instruct them on various aspects of religion and taught them their duties and responsibilities as a member of an islamic society in this teaching learning sessions and discussions that followed the disciples and the followers of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam were free to put questions and raise issues regarding any and everything concerning their lives this is the best education not in every college and universities uh, you will get this type of knowledge and you can ask question freely the masjid of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the masjid navi was the central educational institution of the day besides providing education to the people of madina it also looked after the educational requirements of the people of other regions as well at the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there were nine masjid in madina and each of them served as an educational institution one part of the masjid was a platform called sufa this was the lodging of new comers and for those local people who were poor and had no house to live in this call also be termed as the first residential university in islam this residential institution was maintained not only for the regular boarders but also for the day scholars and casual visitors who came for education and stayed back for a short duration students from far off place and belonging to distant tribes used to come and stay at sufa for a period and then would go back after learning religious science the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the sahaba who were trained in sufa were sent out as a heads of delegation of tribes to organize education in different regions and they were called as qari the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam took keen interest and pain in managing the educational institution and the boarding house of sufa remember prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam took pain we took pain yes he took pain for education and besides the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's masjid and the sufa where instruction was imparted under the personal supervision of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam there were other avenues and instructions such as qutab other masjid in madina also served as centers of education besides some individuals imparted education at their own houses it should also be kept in mind that this education was not confined to men alone women also benefited from it in the newly established islamic society learning become incumbent both on men and women the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had fixed a day exclusively for female education on that on that particular day prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to deliver a lecture and discuss women's problems in the masjid nawawi women were also permitted to ask anything about the religion they were also provided vocational guidance especially in spinning and wool carding as this were the <clears throat> this were regarded as the skills and occupations most suited for them al shifa bin abdullah al adwaya had taught hafsa radhiyallahu ta'ala anha and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked her to continue the teaching Hafsa, teaching Hafsa Razi Allah Ta'ala Anha even after he married her so this is uh, where importance has been given for learning even in those early days the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam could organize learning in a systematic manner including arrangements for periodic supervision thus foundation for the future educational expansion were already laid during the life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who was himself unlettered thus evolved and put into practice a system of education 
which has been flourishing and benefiting the succeeding generation of the followers why we talk why we call prophet muhammad sallam a letter because this is a mozza he could have been he was uh, he was the son of a leader of quraish he could be educated in a well manner thing is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had been uh, be, uh, had he is uh, educated had he was an educated person the people would have said oh he is an educated person that's why he knows everything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is a mazza that he is a letter and then later allah taught him quran to jibril alayhi salatu salam so this is the importance this is the importance of learning and this educations transfer that then transfer to sahaba and tabai 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 and finally came to us so we must be educated in quran and all worldly on world all worldly technical education as well so inshallah we'll be continuing this topic uh, and for today i have to stop because the video would be long inshallah uh, and see you soon in next video till then please like subscribe to my channel one man research tv and till then jazakallah khair